Hello everyone, uh, welcome to, what is it gonna be? Uh, Thursday, Thursday equipment workout, sorry, I'm losing track of days. Um, today we are doing only one thing, only one thing. Uh, we're not doing any strength in the beginning, just the Metcon or conditioning portion. And this is a long chipper, a long one, that you're gonna just get through um, one movement at a time, get the volume done of that movement, and then move on to the next movement and get that volume done, right? So it's not rounds, you're not rotating through or circuit or anything. It's one time through, do all of the work capacity, all the work that you need to do, and then you're done. So, a bunch of different movements today though. So it's four time, so as quickly as, as possible. Um, 150 double unders. Um, double unders, of course, is the jump rope, two rotations every single jump is RX or what we're looking for. If you don't have double unders, totally cool. Lots of different scaling options. You can just do regular jump rope with one rotation every jump. Uh, single unders, I guess is what you call them. Otherwise, you could do um, a little bit of both, right? Um, if you got a few double unders, at least maybe for the first, you know, 50, uh, you try to do double under attempts. And then after that, maybe you go to singles, right? Um, 150 double unders is gonna take for someone unbroken, probably around like a minute and a half to two minutes, depending. Um, but certainly I don't expect everyone to do that unbroken, right? So we wanna make sure that we're breaking up into small bits. If you have, you know, 30 double unders at a time, then pick, do 20 at a time, rest 20 more, rest 20 more. Try to break it up intentionally, stopping in, uh, with purpose versus uh, failing or missing a rep, right? Uh, if you don't have a jump rope and, or you don't want to be outside, you can do double taps on the side of your thigh while you're in the air. Right? That's, that's the, um, an alternate option without any equipment if, or if you don't jump rope. Um, if you need more uh, options outside of that, if jumping's not part of what you can do right now, reach out to your one-on-one -on -one coach online, ask, and uh, you'll receive some, some guidance there. 100 air squats after that, so 150 double unders, air squat. Of course, air squats, um, shoulder distance with the feet, uh, hips go below below the knee um, crease, so below parallel and back up, right? Hips come all the way open. If you can't do air squats, maybe find a box or something to squat to, right? If you need that kind of safety blanket uh, for you, come down and back up. If you can't go all the way to parallel, you can go as low as you can. That's, you know, that's all, also a good option. Um, but if squatting's not in the cards uh, due to some injuries or knee or something, let us know. We'll give you some alternatives as well. But air squats, 100 of them. Um, toes to bar, 35. We haven't done toes to bar, really. Not all of us have pull-up bars. I understand that. So if you do have a pull-up bar, you're probably not going to be doing a bunch of swinging or kipping toes to bar. So you're going to do kind of strict toes to bar. So you're going to grab that bar, hang with your arms straight and you're going to try to bring those toes all the way up and this is going to be a real test of uh, core stability uh, lat uh, engagement and you're going to do 35 strict toes bar this is going to take a long time <laughs> for a lot of us uh, that is important for you just to break up into small sets of five maybe five five reps and come down uh, you could also do knees to chest knees to chest or knees to elbows uh, strict wise is, is very difficult as well but just bringing that knee up nice and high if you do have a pull-up bar and you want to do that, scale down to that. Again, this is a workout that's written for those the, all the equipment that's possible. If you don't have the equipment or want to scale it down, um, think outside the box on that, right? Go ahead, give, allow yourself to scale down. 35 toes of bar. You could do toes to post. Grab a post, lay down on the ground, and bring your feet up to the post, right? My hands would be grabbing onto an anchor. It could be a kettlebell, a dumbbell, or something. My legs come all the way down and then back up to above my head. And that would be a great option as well. I might recommend that for most people at home that don't have a pull-up bar. Um, 75 box jumps after that, that 24 inch and 20 inch. If you don't have those heights, give me something as close as you can. Could be just step ups too. If you have like just a chair or a bench laying around that you're gonna do these two and you don't feel comfortable jumping. But if you got a retaining wall or some steps outside, or if you do actually have a box or something you can stack on top of each other, 75 box jumps. Um, obviously the box jump, we wanna get close to the box, dip, drive our hips and our hands, and launch yourself up, stand up all the way, and then step back down. More than likely step back down for safety, right? 
75 of those, it'll take a while. Um, make sure that you don't get any shinjuries and trip. So take your time. You'll be a little tired by this point. So be focused. 50 ab mat sit-ups. If you don't have an ab mat, just do regular sit-ups or crunches. You can anchor your toes to the, underneath the couch if you really want to. I'm not going to stop you. It's not going to be, quote unquote, the prescribed, but we want to make sure that uh, our shoulders are touching the ground as we come all the way back and lay down on the ground. And then as we come forward, we're crunching, curling that core up and we're letting those that shoulder pass the hip. So if you're on the ground, look something like this all the way up. Touch your toes. Great option, right? If you can't do crunches, uh, maybe hold a plank for um, a, a bit of time. So 100, 100 sit-ups, I would say probably will take uh, probably about two minutes, minute and a half. So you can hold a plank for two minutes, forearm plank. That'd be a good option. Um, if you can do maybe a side plank or you could do uh, bicycles if you want to work on one-sided uh, ab work as well. So lots of different options there, but 50 of those. And then finally, 100 wall balls. And if you don't have wall ball, that's fine. I got this old wall ball little guy here. Um, if you got a wall ball, you wanna obviously squat down and then drive that ball into the air. Let it hit something and catch it again, right? Could be the side of the, of the house, could be a wall, could be the garage, whatever. Um, and make sure that you are squatting all the way down and then as you're coming out, you're kind of launching and driving the hip, so momentum carries through the ball, and of course you catch it, don't let it hit you in the face. If you don't have a ball, I'm sure you got a can of soup, two cans of soup, a can of bean or something. Uh, I'm sure you maybe have a couple of dumbbells, maybe, uh, maybe you have uh, some books or some milk jugs you can fill up. It doesn't matter, you can do light thrusters. And when I say light, I mean pretty light, right? Remember the wall ball is 20 pounds, so that'd be two 10 pound uh, dumbbells or kettlebells, it would be, I have two five pound dumbbells here. So all I would do is squat and drive up. You're not gonna let go of the dumbbells, but you are gonna get it all the way overhead, drive up. So it's close, mimicking most of the musculature that we use during the wall balls, but um, not actually throwing something. Hope that makes sense. I would save about, you know, um, I would save some good time warming up all the different movements, uh, go through all the ones, especially the technical ones like the jump rope, the box jump, and uh, the toes to bar, and kind of figure out and make sure what you want to do for that, scale down. Again, reach out to us if you have any questions. You have a coach that's waiting to hear from you. If you have any questions, I would also save probably around 20 plus minutes for this, just, uh, just in case you get bogged down on one of the movements. It's gonna take a while, and it might be surprised uh, of the volume here. So, should be fun. Have a great time.